Hello, dear. There's all babies. Are they ready for ringing yet? How are you, Daddy? I'm sorry, Mama. I didn't mean to upset you, but I've got to ring your children today. They've got to have their, um, their ID bands. <laughs> it's alright. Don't worry. It's not for COVID. No kind of mass population control going on here. This is going to be a DeRoy. Here we go. Here we 
get. Almost done, mister. Oh, he gave me a little peek. might be that like the father and I don't know about the other one I don't know how it could be a Deroy so I don't know basically maybe it's just got white spots on it but it seemed to have like patches of light on its body so it's probably not a blue it's probably a, um, a black like its mum she's got some white spots small ones but if it is then it will have bigger white spots on it I think I don't know, we'll see um, when they're a little bit larger. They're just starting to... Um... Eh? Which is it, Stripe? Oh, little sweethearts. The others aren't ready yet, but... Um... It will be in a day or two. Hello, pineapple. How are you? You okay? Look at this naughty one. Hello, dear. How are your little babies, dear? Are they okay? I won't check them today, because, um... Well, actually, let's just see that, that they're okay. Yeah, I can hear them peeping, so... I'll leave you be. We'll probably have to ring you in the next day or so, dear. So I'll leave you alone until, um... It's time to ring them, yeah? <laughs> oh, she looks like... What are you going to do? Don't worry. What about you? One day he'll have live eggs, hopefully. I don't know. It might be he's not fertile. He's a sweetheart, though. Hello, guys. These guys are sitting on fake eggs. And these guys are sitting on empty eggs. Um, what's going on here, dear? Have you knocked all your stuff away? Okay, let's see what's going on there. There we go, I've just settled her nest. Alright there, dear. Well, oh, egg's gonna hatch any day, I think, so we'll have to have a bit of a tidy up in here as soon as that happens, yeah? Alright, dear. Aww. I've got a lovely story that I've got to tell um, uh, from some message that a kind man posted on the. Uh, on the earlier videos um, but I'll do it when I've got it printed out so that I can read it properly but um, uh, I think you'll really like it it's basically a story about um, uh, how amazing um, the bonding that <laughs> pigeons have with each other and how 
after long periods of time, they still love each other, even once they've paired with others. So, anyway, I'll read that out and, um, yeah, cool. Uh, so sweet, they're so sweet, aren't you? You're so sweet. You know, pretties. You guys are so pretty, aren't you? Very nice of you bowing. Oh, look at you, pretty. You're bowing too. Check you, Mrs. Bower. Oh, very nice. Hey? You come to visit your brother? This is his brother here. Oh, his nest, this is his nest mate, in fact. That we call Bear. And so this one's Bear, and he was born in the nest with. And this one's called Nutmeg, we call him. He's a residential. That one there is an agate. I can't remember, I think that one's called Ginger Rogers. Hey, y'all. You want some food, I think, because you're pecking me. Hey? Oh, that's not very nice. Is that you playing with very hungry? Very hungry. Yeah, all right. Chill, chill. I'm your friend, remember? Okay. Look at you and your pretty neck. Very nice. Ah, oh, look at these little ones. Hey, no. Can't dance with her. Come on, you troublemaker. They're all going to tell you off if you do that. Come on. There we go. Look at them all. They're all like, did you see what he did? He grabbed him. He's looking like, oh, he told him off. That other fat white one. Don't like him. Came and um, disrespected your authority in the loft, didn't you? But then you told him no. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, now, pretty. Okay, guys. Are you saying you want your your dinner? Okay.
Oh, look at you. Did you fly up there? Look at you. He's proud of himself. Good boy. And look at you, pretty. Aren't you a pretty little one? Right. I'm sorry, I think I've been waving the phone about. Look at the toy stencils, those three, beautiful. This one here, blue with um, reddishy bars, that's indigo bar, but that one's got dirty, the dirty chin, which is what makes it slightly darker and um, brings out the bronze. Hopefully I'm going to get a homozygous um, uh, indigo bar because I've got two breeding together. In fact, if their husband, look what they've left. Ah. Now the cheeky thing is, is that look at their food. They've actually got food there and they've just left it. So I might have to lock them in here so they don't just go and steal everyone else's food because they're just not even eating their own. They're using that for extras rather than for feeding, which means they get more than they should, because they already get loads more anyway. But how sweet are those two? Little sweethearts. Oh look, they've all done it. Well, your eggs are never gonna hatch like that, mate. Look, see, this one we call Mama Bear, because she's so good, she never leaves the nest, no matter how hungry she is. These two don't, because they desperately want a baby but they won't ever have one because one of them's infertile this one she's a good one but she's never had one before this one she's a good one look how good she is she doesn't need the nest and so it's this one look how good she is 
big mama bear, aren't you, huh? Hey. I can see your little baby's ring sticking out underneath you. Ah. Let's just see pineapple from the side. Look how pretty you are, pineapple. I believe she's called Qualmond. She's definitely an almond of some sort, like, but I think it's... Oh, look, here he is. He's come back. He's like, I wasn't gone. Me, gone. I'm just warming them. Their heads happen to be sideways, incidentally. Is that right? What are you doing? Funny stunts. Look at you. Anyone would think you were laying an egg. Eh? Aw. Oh. Aren't you a sweetheart? You are such a pretty pigeon. I really, really have to get you breeding with someone. Because I really want to get the dirty gene to be freed to the loft. Like, I must um, be able to use it. And at the moment, she's with him and she absolutely loves him. This is the problem. But they're not having any babies. So I'm really going to, like, what I'm going to have to do is I'm probably going to have to break, or well, not break them up, but I'm probably going to have to, like, break the breeding cycle in terms of close all of the nest boxes so that they all get closed together once the first round are out and then choose certain ones to go back in um, but then they won't get quite so upset because they'll all be out I mean they will be upset but come on come on cheeky but that's the best idea I can come up with Oh, look, he's bringing some food for her. He's going, here, dear, you swap with me and you go and get some food quickly. Is that right? See, what I'm wondering, um, I think it's Dave Christensen was saying this wonderful story and talking about um, uh, when the um, pigeons make their, um, uh, their, um, uh, their loving sound. Um, uh, when they're about to nest, and what I'm wondering is whether it's the um, whether he's talking about the, the long drawn out woo woo woo, which I think is when they call them to the nest, or whether it's this thing that this one just did, this e e e e sort of almost noise. I'll try and catch them doing it. Oh, here you go. E e e e. change is it? Oh look at her tucking the eggs underneath her. Look at you little sweetheart. You know, like, don't worry, they're they're undercover. Everything's warm. Well almost. You're only a little pigeon. That's very good. Look at that. That was a good effort dear. What good nesting. Very good nesting practices. <laughs> Little sweetheart, little sweetheart, good girl, very nice, oh, why are you trouble, huh, did you tie her off, or him off even, or well, change their water, Alright guys, I'm going to bring you some nice fresh one in a second. Look at him, he's not even drinking. That's good. Hello mister. You were just there, you silly billy. Yeah, that's it. A little bit forward. Good boy. Good boy. I 
thing with this guy, these homozygous almonds, um, they've got the most amazing feathers. Their feathers are basically see-through. Let's see if I can see. This looks like one of his. Let's see, see? It looks like a white feather on the face of it, right? You can't see through, but let's see if we can see this. Oh, let's see on that. Yeah, you see that? There you go. You see? Actually, it's actually semi see through. If any of wants any of these feathers, I, mean, I could maybe send a few out, but like, they're really quite amazing. Again, I can try and create a thing where people can post their emails and um, stuff. And so anyway, maybe I could send a few of those feathers out if anyone wants any. <laughs> I think they're pretty amazing anyway. Look at you, trouble. See, this is that noise that they seem to make to call the other one to nest. I'm wondering, Dave, if this is the noise you mean. This long, drawn out woo 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 woo, or the, the short sort of woo 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 woo. Or maybe both. <laughs> I'll try and um, make sure I tell the story right. It's such a lovely story. If anyone wants to read it themselves, just have a look at. Um, actually, I'll have to post what video it is. It's one of the old ones. Whoa! You come darting in, dear. You look like a little bat, eh, when you did that? Eh? Pretty. Okay. You're right, Penny. I'm gonna have to change your water now, guys. I don't want you drinking the old stuff. And you already are, so I'm late already, guys. Let's just check, little guy. You okay? Oh, he's such a sweet heart. I think he does find it easier when it's light. The only problem is if I put it up where the light is on that shelf, A, he can sometimes bang his eye onto that. I mean, he can see obviously quite well, but nothing as well as the rest of the pigeons. So he doesn't seem to notice when things are really close to him. Oi, you cheeky. Yeah, go away. Um, uh... Go on. Go on, little guy. Go on. Good boy, good boy, very good. Right. I'll tell you, he's so good at jumping now. At one point, when, we, when he was very young, we literally had to feed him because he started, as soon as he left the nest, he couldn't feed himself or anything. We had to hand feed him for like three months or something at least. Like, he literally just would not learn because he couldn't see properly. He's like, he's like, it was much worse when he was really young. He's basically been getting better slowly. And that's what happened with the other one. This one's just been a bit slower because he had the impact injury as well. But What are you doing, you cheeky? Yeah, you tell him. Look how well he defends himself, though. They are all a bit scared of you, except they do every now and then just come for him. See, the problem is, is that these two think they're nesting down here. Now, they did think they were nesting here, but he claimed it for himself. He's like, no, this is mine. I think, really, I should probably move him a little bit closer that way. So it's like his own area. There you go. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not trying to steal your nest. I was trying to help you. Make it yours. Eh? You go back, mister. Go on, go and have your food. 
He's like, I'm seriously angry now. I need to tell everyone about it. It's just not acceptable. Yeah, I know, it's not fair, is it? Not me, mate. I'm trying to help you. Just remember that, yeah? Oh, you two are so sweet. And you, and you, and you. You're all sweet. And what are you guys up to? They know that they're just standing here eyeing up. Come on! <laughs> eyeing up his nice food. Come on, mister. Here you go, let's help you. No, 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 that's not the way. Come on. It's all right, look, I'm helping you. I'm not a pigeon stealing. Oh, you want some water? No, he wants the food. Go away. Look at them all creeping up on him. Now they've stolen his bow. Well, maybe they're just stealing his twigs. That's the noise he means. Yeah, you tell them, mate. Go on. <coughs> you are one. Look, not me. Don't go for me. Well, you go for me because I don't bite back. Is that right? Look at these naughty little ute. Who we got here, eh? Who have we got here? Did you fall down? Did you slide down? Yeah, I want my food. It's a bit higher up, mate. You want to climb up? Come on now. He's really angry today. I think he's just getting better and better at defending himself. The other problem is, is that when he bends down to peck, he sort of half closes his eyes because he thinks he's going to like hit something with them as he has them in the past. So um, he doesn't really look where he's pecking and then he sort of like stabs in the dark. I mean, what are you doing now, you little guy, huh? As soon as the vets are taking non-emergency things, I'm going to take him back and get them to look at his eyes again. See what they think how he's doing. But see then, he just moved straight back. So I think he was pecking here because he wanted to make sure that any pigeon that might be hiding around there... Come on, you cheeky. Where you go? Yeah, you tell them. Right, I better go. Tell 
just pick up. She used the floor now. Anyway. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. I think you got confused, mate. That's the one. Go on, good boy. Good boy. That nice. Trying to pick something on the back of there. Let me what you're trying to pick at there. Huh? All right. No one's about to pick at you. Well, actually, these guys might come and ask your seeds. So yeah, good, good thinking. Puff yourself up. Anyway, let's um, let people see some of the other pigeons. Sweethearts. That's his um, older brother, who's totally fine now. That's where I spilt the water. Okay. Good guys. Good pretty girl. Look at you, Milk. Aren't you pretty? Such a pretty girl. Such a pretty head. Well, you, you might be a cock, actually, aren't you? You're very pretty, I know that much. You are, it's okay, yeah. Yeah, good work. Very nice. Okay, guys. You take care. And don't take the rings off. Good night, guys. Oh, look. You've got the prime spot. Is that because you've got um, the iridescent neck? Huh? Look at your neck. What a pretty... What's he doing? Waving that light on me. Okay, guys, take care. Bye, bye, bye.